Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to welcome back in Medford Police Chief Randy Sparacino. Chief, congratulations. Thanks for having me. So it's it's you were off Friday. I was. And, and you were you were voted in by City Council Thursday night. What was it like your first official day on the job as full-time chief walking in there this morning? It's still a little surreal. It's uh, going to take a little bit of getting used to. I uh, walked in the door and I had people saying, good morning, chief. And I kind of sit back and go, oh, yeah, I'm no longer the interim chief. I am the chief. And, and so, yeah, three months, is it, about, about there? About three months. As, as interim chief, and did that feel like one long job interview? It did feel like one long <laughs> job interview. I mean, the actual interviews for the position weren't until the 1st of March, but the entire time I'm trying to perform at my peak performance to show, you know, the employees, the city, the community that I'm the man for the job. Yeah, and, and you were clearly emotional when elected uh, on Thursday night by the city council. It was, I think I can speak for our viewers when we talk about how, how nice that was to see. Clearly meant a lot to you. What about having all, all the officers and, and, and I imagine staffers as well up there in the audience cheering for you when you were uh, elected? It was emotional. I, I'm feeling it right now. It was very emotional. I mean, it's like a dream come true. And to have that kind of support from your your staff, I, I've said this before, you have to have the support of three key stakeholders to be a good chief. Your, your staff, your employees, your city management council, and the community. And to show that I've already gotten that support because they've seen how I've performed for the last mm -hmm. three months, it's, it's, it's moving. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people very, very happy, you know, I can, from what I'm hearing as that, well, they're excited. That, that, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, so I, wa I want to ask you, we broke the story Thursday afternoon in our 5 and 6 o'clock shows that the final two candidates were you and Springfield Police Chief Tim Doney, who's also ex-MPD Deputy Chief, mm -hmm. who spent 20 plus years here at MPD. Obviously two very, very strong candidates, but you went into that meeting at 7 o'clock not knowing how it was going to break out. I had no idea. You always kind of prepare yourself for the best. I feel like I was a strong candidate and I felt like I was the candidate for the for the position, but you never know what's going to happen. I mean, it's a position that fit is very important. So I don't know what, you know, I, I feel like I did the best I could in my process, but you never know what the, you know, what the choice is going to be. So mm -hmm. you're sitting there going, oh, what's going to happen here? So it's a little apprehensive when you're sitting in the audience waiting to see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And did you know it was, it was you and Doni? I didn't. I did. Obviously, Doni's well known to the city council, just like yourself. Right. I did know that we were the final two candidates. I know that there was uh, several applications that were reviewed and screened before they finally interviewed the last two people and, and got it down to Tony and I. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where do you begin to now? Now that you've lost the interim tag, I imagine you have a whole new breath of fresh air with how you're looking at the position. How do you prioritize where, where you want to where you want to go from here? My immediate priorities are promotions because uh, as a result of my promotion, there are several little openings throughout the department, lieutenants, which then will create uh, sergeants' mm -hmm. openings, mm -hmm. deputy chief. So the first priority is going to be the deputy chief selection. And once we get that, then we'll do the other promotions on down the line. And then we'll start working on some things I, you know, I kind of alluded to in our first uh, meeting a couple months ago, mm -hmm. the efficiencies of the department. I'm going to work on streamlining some of the management and the bureaus to make our department a little more efficient. Okay, and, and where do you begin with the deputy chief search? Obviously, you know, uh, is, is that something that you would look in-house or, or out of house? I mean, do you look outside the building as well? We, we could look out of house if we didn't have qualified candidates within the building, but we mm -hmm. do. We have, mm -hmm. we have three very qualified candidates. We could have four, but we just promoted a brand new lieutenant, so he's still on probation. I mean, someday he might be a, an excellent candidate for deputy chief, but at this point, we have three strong in-house candidates. Okay, and the timeline for that is still being determined? It's still being determined. It, it'll be posted within the next week. We'll probably have it open for a couple of weeks and then do a, a, a rigorous process internally to determine who the best candidate is. Okay, very good. We're going to take a quick break. Not much more with Chief in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Medford Police Chief Randy Sparacino. So, Chief, we're talking about the process you guys are undergoing through for uh, to find a new deputy chief. You're, of course, being promoted. Someone needs to step into your spot. Uh, three weeks, a couple weeks? To yeah, that? it'll be a few weeks out, three, three or four weeks. And we're going to, you know, I've heard the concerns about our processes and ensuring that they're open and well represented. This process, we're going to ensure that we have leadership from other police organizations that are represented on our interview panels. We'll also have members from our PAC committee that'll be on the interview panels mm -hmm. and maybe a couple of other citizens to help review. And our PAC committee is made up of citizens, so that kind of covers that as well. So we're going to try to ensure that we have an adequate representation 
of the community that's helping us to choose our next deputy chief. Okay, and, and one of the things uh, I want to ask you about is challenges, and, and specifically uh, body cameras, and but also in that in that same vein is officers are taking a lot of fire um, across the country, literally. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of officers are dying. Um, is that a, is that a concern for you, or how how can you even address that? It's an absolute concern. I think. The way you address that is by having good community relations, and I think we have excellent community relations in Medford, and we'll just continue that. As far as body cameras, it looks like we're shooting for sometime in the middle of April to start our initial rollout of our body-worn camera system. Um, and a lot of that, you know, the, the officers taking fire, I mean, it, it's your typical situations, drugs and, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, addiction. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and that's and I imagine that's a huge part of the crime we have here. Mm -hmm. We've certainly heard that from MPD in the past. Uh, drugs and, and heroin and, and still meth, correct? Right. Are, correct. Are huge problems. Th those are still those are still the primary drugs of choice in the community. Um, they drive a lot of our other crime. Um, I'm sure most of the audience is aware that we've had a spike in uh, thefts from motor vehicles. So certainly, um, you know that. The, the desire is to reduce that. We'll probably start looking at targeted enforcement, some type of hotspot uh, response to reduce that theft from motor vehicles and vigilance on the part of our community. We'll just keep reiterating: lock your doors, don't mm -hmm. don't leave don't your leave that iPad sitting on exactly. Your seat. <laughs> park in, park under a light. Leave mm -hmm. your lights on on your porch. Leave your lights on your on your garage. All those things that you can do to harden your target. Well, Chief, it's, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for making us one of your first I, interviews. I appreciate it. The position. Thank you, Craig. All right, my pleasure. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.